Welcome to the Colorado Earth Brickyard production site. We're going to show you around our yard and how we make the blocks that we do. First of all, I want to show you where the material comes from. Over there is a waste pile of the sand and clay that we use. It's uh, overburdened from uh, quarry production for rocks. So when we get a truckload of material, it's uh, dumped right here under the black plastic. Um, you can see there's got some kind of larger chunks in it and, and aggregate. Um, we want it screened down um, as best as we can. So this mach uh, machine here does this for us. Uh, screens it down to about three-eighths of an inch. I'll show you um, some of the good finds that we get from there. So when you have kind of a s smaller aggregate material, it just allows for a better, um, better homogeneous composition for both the adobe and compressed earth blocks. So the screen material then comes into our mixer. Um, here we have a separate hopper that we can either put cement or lime or a combination of both um, into a smaller hopper and the belt at a certain speed allows us to mix uh, that cement lime into a per uh, perfect ratio. Usually around seven and a half percent is what we're after. So the auger pushes it through here, water's added, Again, at just about 10% for those compressed earth blocks. So it's a nice, fairly dry mix. Again, the skid steer scoops up that uh, material and puts it into our big blue, which makes our 10 by 14 compressed earth blocks. Um, here you can see the, the hydraulic um, base of the press there that compresses the blocks to about 1800 PSI, and they come out on these rollers and they are immediately stacked onto pallets where they can be used um, within about 28 days after full cure. So here's our brickyard. Um, this is where we are um, able to make both compressor blocks and adobes. Um, stay tuned for more videos on us at work. Catch you later.